Hello and in this video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing these Kamoa McLaren sunglasses. Fernando Alonso, ex-Formula One car driver, started the Kamoa band back in March 2017. And as a McLaren fan and a Fernando Alonso fan, I decided to check out some of his stuff and see just how good it is. Here I have some Kamoa Special Edition McLaren sunglasses. Let's check them out. In the box you get a pouch to clean and keep your sunglasses in. You get some stickers and you get the sunglasses which I really like the look of. What you also get is some impact resistant tests which I find quite good and not something everybody does. They have a nice translucent orange and a glossy black exterior. They have the Kamoa and the McLaren logo inside them and yes they have steel hinges that go not only inwards but a little bit outwards as well. One thing I did just notice when taking them off then is they're very glossy but no, they're not sticky but because they're a real gloss finish they kind of stick to your head a little bit which I guess is a good thing. <laughs> I also really like the lenses. Some brands have a yellow tint which I really don't like, some brands have a dark tint which I don't mind but above all my favourite is the blue tint and these Kamoas have the blue tint and while it's on the screen there and that reminds me these have a filter category 3 which is the maximum glare protection. Now looking through these lenses with this nice LED white light is one thing but how do they go out in the real world in the sun? Let's go check that out. So here we are out and about on this 31 degrees Celsius day, testing these suns out in the proper sun where they should be used. You know one thing I like about these sunglasses is normally sunglasses, they're a little bit too big on my head, but these actually fit very well. I love sunglasses with a little bit of a bluey tint, which these have. It makes things look better when you're out in the sun. So why did I get these? Well, multiple reasons. One, I'm a Formula One fan. Two, I'm a McLaren fan. And three, I'm a Fernando Alonso fan. And Kamoa is his, uh, one of his uh, sort of brands. Okay. So I decided to try it out and see how good they were. Now the price of these, like these are a special edition. You can only get these for a small amount of time. So how much were these? Well, I sit on this bench here. These are one of the more expensive pairs because they are a special edition. At the time of filming these are 180-ish US dollars but of course if you're not necessarily a McLaren fan you can get other versions of this a little cheaper. Some Kamoa sunglasses at the moment I think are as little as about 67 US dollars at the time of filming which is really good for the quality of these things. Seem like they're built really well. You know, the one thing I am finding on this incredibly hot day where I'm all sweaty and stuff is because of their slippery nature. They are, when I'm looking down at my phone like this, they do kind of slip down like that. Very easy. When it's cold, they stick to your face really well and they don't move. But when it's really hot and you're sweaty, just down like that, you know? Would have been good if they had a little bit of rubber or something there, just to stop it from falling down anymore on those really hot days. But in conclusion, should you buy them and are they any good? Well, they are quite well built. They, the vision out of the lenses is really good. They look quite good in my opinion. So if you've got the money, I mean why not? They have good pair of lenses that will probably last you quite a while. The only thing to ask now is who wore it better? Me or Fernando Alonso? Have your say 
down in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Hey, I just realized doing a uh, review of the McLaren Kamoa sunglasses. Look at that. McLaren wallpaper in the background. Ah, uh, ah. Uh.